Hey guys, this is Charles Jager with Metal. In this quick tutorial, we're gonna take a look at the circular waves effect that's a part of Mantra VR from Metal. All right, now that we're inside of After Effects. I'm gonna go ahead and select my 360 footage, come up here to Effect, Metal, and then Mantra VR, Circular Waves. Now you can see we have this kind of liquidy circular waves effect occurring on our 360 footage. You can see it starts in the front and then goes all the way across the footage to the back. Now we're in the effects panel, we can see all the various options we have. The first being frame layout for monoscopic or stereoscopic footage. The next one is the point of interest, where I can actually move the point of interest of the circular waves effect around the footage. I can also click and drag that around. If I want to, you can see it's updating pretty quickly. And so I can reposition this really anywhere in the scene that I want to, even at the top poles or in the front or wherever we want to. Next we have the amplitude, so I'll just zoom in here. We can adjust the amplitude of the waves or kind of the height of the waves. And you can see as I bring it all the way down, they disappear. And if I crank it all the way up, we get a really like liquid chrome effect on the footage. Next option we have is the wave length. So as you can see, I can adjust this to keep it narrow or increase the size. I'm gonna be quite large, all the way up to 100, I believe. And you can see that applies a pretty unique effect on the footage as we get up in the really high ranges there. Next effect is the phase. So I can go ahead and kind of phase the waves through the footage. So you can obviously animate this or add an expression to it, keyframe it, anything you want to do like that. And of course, all this is happening seamlessly on our 360 footage, which is one of the big values of these effects on our 360 video. Next we have the decay. So we can go ahead and adjust this for the range of how much we want the video to be affected by the effect, so you can apply it to only like the front half or the back half of the 360 video using the decay. Next we have the max latitude. I'll just adjust the latitude of the waves again. And finally we have displacement. And you can see this kind of adds like little twists to the waves. So that's a really unique effect there that that's applying. Just add another element to the overall waves. Below that we have the distribution options. There's another host of options down here. I'm gonna go ahead and reset the effect now just so we can come at this from the default. We have a few various distribution types here. The default is Fibonacci, and if I go ahead and increase the instances here, you'll see how they all kind of cross over each other. So we're adding in more and more instances of those circular waves. So now I've increased it all the way to six. And you can see we get kind of a cool glassy effect on our 360 footage. And you can see as I move that around, it kind of looks like we're behind you know, thick, wavy glass. If I go to a, I've got a Skybox Composer, actually POV view here. So we're inside of the 360 now. Just so you can get an idea of kind of what this looks like from a 360 POV perspective. So it looks really cool. I'm gonna jump back to the 360 composition now. We have a few other options here, such as the circle option for the distribution type. So this would be more of a circular effect where they're all kind of a little bit more in a row this effect, well, this particular effect is kind of difficult to see just because there's so much distortion going on. But uh, we can go ahead and adjust the latitude here, and you can see how those kind of line up from one side to the other. So this is essentially lining up all the circular waves effects together. When it's at 100, if I bring it down to zero, they're all scattered about. If I bring it back down to negative 100, they all line up on the opposite end. So I'm going to set that back to zero. Next we have the rotate around the point of interest. So there's my point of interest here. If I go ahead and keyframe this now, or rotate it, you can see how that adds another rotation animation to the footage. Then we also have position deviation for the random deviation there. And then we also have random seed. So this is a really cool effect to add, you know, either glass effects on top of your footage, uh, or if we just go back to the default, this kind of circular wavy effect. And obviously you can animate the amplitude here and do some cool transitional elements and things like that on your 360 footage. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this quick overview of the circular waves effect as a part of Mantra VR. This has been Charles Jager with Metal. Thanks for watching.